Hey guys, it's Hamo here. Just wanted to show you the new Moz Keyword Explorer tool. It was released a couple of days ago and I've had a little bit of a look around and it's actually quite good. So for those people that are just starting their blog and are using the Google AdWords Keyword Explorer, this might be a better alternative for you. As you well know, I use the Longtail Pro Keyword Explorer and that's been doing me just fine. I use it many times a day because I've got several blogs that I deal with. But look, this is a really good opportunity. I thought I'd just share it with you guys. And best of all, you get a couple of searches out of it for free. So free is always good in my books. All right, let's just uh, try it out here. We'll just type in uh, niche of yoga. Okay, it's come back here with the United Kingdom as default. Um, obviously you can go and select your particular country that you're targeting. Uh, as we can see here, the volume is between 118,000 and 300,000. So that's actually quite a few people searching for yoga. Uh, the difficulty is uh, quite difficult. So the higher that number, the harder it is to rank. Uh, the opportunity, however, is good. And the combination of those two gives you the actual potential. So as it says here, score from zero to 100. High potential represents a sweet spot of high volume and opportunities with a lower difficulty. So in this case, yoga actually is quite a good term to be a niche blogging on. If we go a bit further down, we can see here that uh, we've got the keyword suggestions. Um, these are keywords that people are looking for within yoga. So yoga poses, uh, yoga for beginners. That's actually quite a good number there. Uh, yoga videos, so yoga exercises, and yoga for weight loss. You can click on here and we can get to see the full 1000 list. Um, that's quite handy because uh, Longtail Pro actually gives you around about 800. I think that limits it because of the Google AdWords connection. Okay, so the other important thing here is that it has an export to CSV as well. So once you've actually done your search, um, you don't lose that data if you just export it out. So that's actually quite handy too. Okay, so we'll just quickly go back. And uh, so we've got the SERP analysis. Here it's just showing us some of the results that are returned in Google. So these are the top three results and their page authority and their domain authority. So that's actually quite handy too. Okay, so we also see here mentions. So these are mentions that are linking to these top titles in the Google search results. So that saves you a little bit of time as well. Uh, you might find a link back opportunity there. Um, if they've linked someone else, then maybe they've got an opportunity to link to you as well. So that's actually quite handy as well. So it's a pretty basic tool. Looks like it's a lot easier to use than Google AdWords. So look, if you've been using Google AdWords for your keyword research, and I recommend that you always do keyword research when you are creating your blog posts. There's no point in creating a blog post over one or two hours and then having it sitting at the back of the Google search engine index. If you've got something to talk about, you might as well have a look for a keyword that relates to that topic and make sure that goes into your title and within the body of your actual blog post. So that's the Moz Keyword Explorer tool. As I mentioned, you get a couple of free searches per day. So for low volume bloggers, uh, that's probably enough to get a couple of good keywords. As you see, you put a keyword in and you're getting another thousand ideas coming out anyway. But if you want a few more searches, uh, you can get an extra five searches by just joining Moz Pro and select their free account. So that's actually worth doing anyway because you'll get a, access to their domain authority toolbar for Google Chrome. Okay, so just before I go, I did a similar search on my Longtail Pro keyword tool and we're getting similar results. Um, the Moz Explorer was done with the United Kingdom data set and the Longtail Pro is set for the US currently. So, but we get the similar results here. We see the yoga, yoga poses um, in the US. Pilates is a little bit more searched. Uh, then we get things like Bikram yoga and hot yoga. So different types of yoga. So the Moz Keyword Explorer is definitely a different alternative. Um, I'll continue to use the Longtail Pro keyword tool just because I do a lot more searches during a day. Uh, as you can see there, it's pulling back the actual amounts as well. So if you're targeting a particular keyword, 
Um, you actually want to know that people are prepared to pay for a search term as well. So if you're actually using Google AdSense on your blog. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you today. So until next time, it's bye for now.